Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I am doing another one of those comparison videos with the Benefit Primer and the Smashbox Primer to see which one is the better primer. Today we are comparing the Kat Von D Locket Foundation with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Now I've been wanting to do this video since the Fenty Beauty Foundation came out because I've heard so much about it being so matte and for people with oily skin and it just sounds a lot like the Kat Von D formula. Today I'm finally getting around to that video so let's get started. Okay to keep this video 100% fair I am not going to be using the Fenty Beauty primer. Everybody knows that once a foundation has a primer that goes along with it it's most likely going to work best together so I don't want to kind of I don't want to give the Fenty Beauty foundation an advantage just because it has a primer that is formulated for the foundation so I'm going to be using one foundation on my whole face that has nothing to do with Kat Von D or Fenty Beauty at all oh and by the way if you haven't seen my other comparison video with the two primers I will have it right here click that I button and also I did another one with the ABH glow kit versus the ColourPop Gimme More highlighter palette also up here so check those two videos out when you get a chance and I also wanted to mention that the Kat Von D foundation is marketed as a full coverage foundation but the Fenty Beauty foundation is marketed as a light to medium coverage foundation so two different coverages I'm not gonna get the same look but we're testing wearability how long it lasts and does it live up to its claim is this full coverage and is this light to medium coverage this actually claims to be a 24 hour foundation I'm not testing it for 24 hours we actually did a video on testing this foundation for 24 hours and if you want to see that you could click on the eye up here but today I'm only going to be wearing both foundations for a couple of hours maybe four to five hours now honestly that's how long I wear foundation anyway daily that's how long I would wear foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and get started okay so I moved you guys in a little bit closer I'm going to get started with the Kat Von D locket foundation I'm going to do this foundation the Kat Von D foundation on my left side of my face and the Fenty Beauty on the right side of my face Fenty Beauty being a much newer brand than Kat Von D but these foundations are super popular in the makeup world um, and they're great for oily skin which is fantastic for me and a lot of other people with oily skin okay the Kat Von D side is done now I'm going to move on to the Fenty Beauty side I'm going to use the other side of the sponge so that we don't mix formulas okay both foundations are on right off the bat I noticed it's pretty obvious that I'm wearing two different foundations this side has a more yellow undertone and this side has a more warmer undertone as far as coverage obviously my left side looks better with the Kat Von D foundation because it is marketed as a full coverage foundation my Fenty side definitely could use some more coverage but all in all it looks pretty good I must say that this side the Fenty Beauty side looks a lot more smoother as far as like the texture of my skin this side you can definitely see every bump every acne scar just everything that is on this side of my face which I don't like at all I feel like it enhances all of my flaws and this side just looks a little bit more flawless to me sorry more smoother I feel like it conceals everything and it just looks better in my opinion I do think that the Kat Von D side is a little bit more dewy. The formula is probably a little bit more dewy than the Fenty side. I see a lot of, not necessarily oil, but shine peeking through. And I think that is just from the foundation because I haven't been sitting here long enough for my skin to actually get oily. And this side is a lot more matte and just, it doesn't look like it's going to budge. I think it's whatever you prefer honestly because some people enjoy the more dewier more sun-kissed look that glow and then or some people prefer the super matte side so I mean it's whatever you prefer but let's continue on with the rest of the face I'm going to be concealing and baking and using all of my normal products on both sides of my face everything's going to be the same here on out and I will get back to you guys when I'm done Okay guys, I am back, makeup's done. I know somebody's gonna ask in the comments. My um, eyeshadow is all from the Carly Bible Deluxe palette. Um, and my lips is this new e.l.f. Um, well, it's, it's new to me, it's not new, but it's an e.l.f. gloss in the shade Glow. 
It's so pretty. It reminds me of the Fenty Beauty Galaxy Collection. It's just so shiny and like reflective with the pink and the purple. It's so cute. Okay. And I also just wanted to mention that I did not use any other Fenty Beauty or Kat Von D products on my face. I didn't use any of the Fenty Beauty matchsticks. I didn't use the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light palette. I didn't use any other of those products. But I also did want to cover what each of these foundations claim on their site. So I am on the Sephora website and I'm I looked up the Fenty Beauty Locket Foundation. I have my computer here and it says that it is full coverage for skin types. It's for normal, dry, combination, and oily. Now that's the difference between this foundation and, and the Fenty Beauty Foundation. The Fenty Beauty Foundation I believe only claims to be for oily skin. But we'll see. Um, okay. The finish is matte. Um, what it is, a a high pigment full coverage foundation with a matte finish and a 24 hour wear. Okay, so that's pretty much just everything I mentioned before. I just wanted to make sure, um, but I actually didn't know that this foundation, it says this for all skin types. So that's different. I don't necessarily believe that 100%. I don't know because I feel like. I don't know. I feel like I don't know if it's possible to create a one foundation for all skin types. But, um, okay, cat. Now I am looking at the Fenty Beauty foundation. Okay, it says that its coverage is medium. The skin type is for sensitive, normal, dry, combination, and oily. Are you sure? Are you sure? I don't know about that because that's the, that's the second foundation I've looked up so far that I know is not for all skin types. So why does Sephora say that it is? I don't know. Finish is matte. What it is, a soft matte long wear foundation with buildable medium to full coverage. Okay, yes. I will agree that the Fenty Beauty foundation definitely is buildable. The Kat Von D foundation is already full coverage. If you need a little bit more coverage and you think that's not enough, you can definitely build it. Um, yeah, so I do agree on that claim. So I've only had my foundation on for about 20 to 30 minutes because I was finishing up my face. Um, what I could see so far really is not much of a difference. They both look pretty matte to me. Everything seems normal. I still think this side looks more flawless. The Fenty side. I just feel like I'm this just looks like my skin and that is also what this foundation is known for it's supposed to look like your skin but better which I love that concept I've been looking for a foundation like that forever and it's finally here and I definitely agree with what it's saying it does look like my skin but better this side it looks like I'm wearing foundation now I'm not saying that is a bad thing the foundation still looks natural it just looks like I'm wearing foundation this side just looks like I'm wearing a little bit of shadow wearing a little blush you know she contoured a little bit but her skin is just naturally clear which is not but guys also I wanted to mention one more thing I wanted to talk about the prices and how much you're getting for the price of each of these foundations now the Fenty Beauty foundation is $34 and you get 1.8 fluid ounces of product. That's really good. That's honestly really good. That's a lot of product. Um, I'm actually still on my first bottle. Angela and I share it. So that's a lot of product. Okay. And the Kat Von D foundation is $35 and you get one fluid ounce of foundation. So actually, this one is a dollar more and you're getting less product. You're getting 0.8 ounces less than the Fenty Beauty. So this one is automatically like the better buy. It's cheaper and you get more for what you're paying for. I'm here for that. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna turn off the camera, wear this foundation, these foundations for a couple of hours. And then I'll get back to you guys. Okay. okay guys, I am back. It has been about four to five hours and I have worn this makeup throughout my day. I've worn it outside in the heat and I'm back. Now, my results and what I think is the better foundation and which one held up the most. Let's take a look at both sides. Let me bring you guys in closer. Okay, this is the Kat Von D side. 
um, off the bat I see that my pores look a lot larger than when I put on my makeup and I think that's just because of the heat from outside and just the wear it's starting to separate and really show all of my imperfections even more you can see on my cheek if I bring it in closer you guys can see I have some like just like little holes right here I didn't have that before and I think it's starting to crease a little bit around my smile lines but that's just like natural foundation wear over time um, as far as texture and to touch I'm getting a little bit of stickiness especially around the nose over here um, which means I'm getting a little oily and that this is starting to melt a little bit the foundation is starting to melt but as far as appearance I don't think it's that bad it could definitely look worse it could look a lot oilier than what it is um, so it's not horrible um, I, th I still think it's a great foundation. It's not holding up um, even for like four or five hours. It naturally claims to be a 24 hour foundation. So, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Alright, Fenty Beauty side. To touch. Let's see. Let me use both my hands. Alright, Cat. Fenty. Wow. Fenty is a lot more drier, like by a lot. This side is more tackier, it's just more, I think it's, the oil is really starting to come through and through the foundation. This side it seems very dry and smooth still. Um, okay, so I think Fenty is holding up as far as like oil control, more mattifying, more drying. Um, see my nose, my nose is usually where I can tell because my nose gets really oily quick oh my god oh my god just like my face this side is a lot more oilier than this side this side is still very dry matte wow oh my gosh <sighs> yeah that's huge that's really huge for me because my nose is typically where I start to get really oily and I have to blot my nose a lot especially when I'm wearing makeup for for many hours so my nose is usually the first to go as far as makeup but this one is a lot more matte this one is getting sticky and tackier and I actually feel like this the Kat Von D foundation is just heavier the formula is heavier than the Fenty okay so honestly there isn't a huge difference in the foundations um, but this side does feel more tackier and oilier but which foundation is better is the question that still remains um, I would 100% definitely have to give it to the Fenty Beauty foundation why it's because it is holding up better I have oily combination skin I get oilier in places like my nose faster and my chin and it's holding up so much better it's still smooth and matte and it feels good this side is sticky and it's getting oily and it's giving me about four more hours and it'll be super greasy on this side so that's why I feel like this one is the better foundation also it is cheaper than the Kat Von D foundation only by a dollar but you are getting more product in this one which makes it a better buy okay guys that's it for this video but let me know what you think remember that my skin is oily combination so I feel like these foundations will work differently on different skin types so maybe you know you'd like the cap on D better on your skin type because you have drier skin so I mean to each his own everybody has their own opinion but this is just my trial my test on these products and that is my verdict the Fenty Beauty wins in my opinion thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and if you like more of these videos please do not forget to thumbs up this video so I know I can make more of these comparison product videos and if you'd like to see two products go head to head in a versus on this channel please leave them down below so I can buy them and do them thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in the next one bye